Hi, what's up guys? Today I would like to show you my other guys deck profile. Yesterday I posted a combo video for this deck, so you can check it out. The link is in the description. So let's go into the uh, main deck. For the other guys monsters I play 3 Melusik and 3 Marionator. These are the best starters of the deck. Next, 3 Pukeri. Uh, this is a great extender. Next, uh, 3 Multifaker. Uh, even though I play this card at 3, it's not the best card in the deck because it locks you into uh, other guys monsters and uh, this version of the deck uh, wants to uh, combo and the uh, strongest uh, play of this deck is uh, through uh, Promethean Princess because it uh, gets you into interruption during your opponent's turn and uh, with the Promethean Princess you can bring back Hextia every turn. So. Um, uh, that's why uh, that, uh, I play only a couple of traps in this deck, but uh, I still play multi at 3 because it's uh, strong to uh, special summon it um, from hand and also special summoning another monster from the deck. Next, I play two Molives. This card is also really strong because it uh, revives one of your other guys' monsters on summon. And also you can summon it from hand if you add it to hand. And one of each silk it is and conquery. So silk is um, uh, not really uh, great to uh, draw, but it's uh, best card you can summon with multi faker during your opponent's turn. So you have interruption and conquery can be a, a nice way to mm, protect your monsters and also negate one of your opponent's card. Next, for the other guys' traps, I play one Manifestation, one Protocol, and one uh, Haunted Rock. Uh, so I play only one of each because uh, traps going second are not really the best. Uh, I play one Haunted Rock because it, uh, it combos with uh, Marionetter because you can activate it during your turn one so you can activate uh, Multifaker. Next for the consistency I play three Pot of Prosperity and two Small World. Uh, next uh, one Cold by the Grave and for the traps, in generic traps I play three even damaged and three imperm. That's it for the uh, generic traps. Uh, I don't play solemn judgment, solemn warning, and all strike or any other traps because uh, I want to mm, activate these traps even during uh, going second. So I can activate uh, multi faker from hand if I need to, and I don't need. I don't need to just set the card and uh, wait for the next turn to activate it. Next for the hand traps, 3 Ash, 3 Veiler, and 3 Drawn Lockboard. And also evenly, uh, I mean no Imperm, so 12 hand traps. And that's it for the main deck. In the extra I play 3 Hextia, uh, 2 Prime Machine, uh, 2 Herminia, and that's it for the Altergeist uh, Link Monsters, so I play only the best ones. Uh, next, uh, for the Link ones, uh, Almirage and Tranquish Anima, so uh, we don't have Link Oribo anymore, uh, so we need to play these two monsters so we can link off uh, our altergeist monsters uh, to get them into grave. Next one, Hita, a Promethean Princess, Humble Veil, and uh, some other Asian Phoenix. So this is the uh, fire package in this deck uh, because um, the Promethean Princess with the Hextia uh, is really strong because you can revive every turn your Hextia and uh, search with Hextia. And uh, Emblow Whale is a, your end board piece and Ranging Phoenix is for the 
uh, OTK and with uh, Zilantis. And the last kind of extra is SWA Esplit Light. And that's it for the extra deck and deck profile. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this deck, what would you change and what other deck profiles you love to see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.